How are you, George, you old pelican? How's your liver? <laughs> Who do you want? Georgie, Georgie, you haven't changed a bit, have you? Hasn't changed a bit. Same old jolly pop. George, we're going in to see what's his name? You know the guy that runs the chorus. Mr. Ostafish. Yeah. The chorus master. Yeah, Ostafish. Put on a little weight, haven't you? You should have seen him in the old days. I don't place you, mister. Brother, how them dames used to... You don't place me. I don't place you. Where was it you knew me? You mean you don't remember? Was it around here? No, before that. Long before that. You remember? Before that? Don't worry about it. I don't know nothing. Come on, kid. We better go on in. Oh, no, 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 please. Was it Brighton Beach? Sure, Brighton Beach. I knew you'd remember. Shh. Georgie, Georgie, don't worry about it. I don't know nothing, nothing. Oh, George, you got anyone around here who can show us to the Fisher's office? Yeah, yeah. Okay, one minute, please. Don't worry about it, will you? If you get to worrying, maybe you'll get me to worrying. Maybe I'll get to talking out of turn and shh yourself, will you? What are you picking on me for? Is George always that nice? Got me, never saw him before in my life. How much price of it? Yes? George told me to bring this table into you. Hi. How do you do? Are you Osterfish? Mr. Osterfish. Listen. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This way, please. Much. <laughs> Don't thank me. Thank your friend, Mr. Patterson. Shh. The young lady's all taken care of, Mr. Patterson. She's being fitted for a costume now. What young lady? Oh, I hadn't seen anybody, sir. I just thought you'd like to know she was all taken care of. She said she knows me? Oh, don't worry, sir. She was very delicate and formal about it. Mr. Patterson, she said. Are you the stage director? No, but I assure you I have every right to be here. I see. Well, you're very pretty, I must say that. Um, are you the stage manager, the, the man who, who... No, I'm not the man who, who. No? You know Mr. Patterson very well, I take it. Well, aren't you getting a little personal? Look, Johnny, if I was you, I'd keep waiting for us in room doors. You'll get in trouble with Mr. Patterson. Quiet! I'm a friend of Mr. Olstrom's. I gotta you see him. You can't see nobody till the recording is finished. Quiet! But listen here, up. Listen, you go right down to the rooster and tell Susie everything is gonna be all right. I hope. Who does this guy think he is pushing me, your pal, around? Brother, you're tougher hey. in the corner than the stock. You! I've been chasing you all over town, and finally when I find you in this joint, I... What are you afraid of around here, a raid? Mr. Olstrom, please, sir. Brother, look to this. Hey, did you put on the beef? I'm afraid you made a mistake. <laughs> Say, remember only what a slick poppy you was in the old days? Remember how I used to use you as a decoy for the dames? Woo-hoo, brother! I beg your pardon. What are you worrying about? This is Spike Maringo, and I don't know nothing. Nothing. Mr. Olstrom, please. I don't want to talk with everyone around. You never know whose ears are out. Yep. How you used to knock them Dave silly in the old days. Ho, ho, brother. <laughs> you remember that brunette kind of blonde? What's her name? She used to swoon every time she saw you. Uh, perhaps, mister, uh, you would like to ride with me home to my apartment. I can, only. I got to get back to business. But don't worry about it. I don't know nothing. But I don't quite understand. Where did you know me? Are you joking? It was not New York, was it? But before that, I used to wear a mustache. Was it Copenhagen? Well, now you're getting warmer. Getting warmer. It wasn't Naples. Good old Naples. I knew you'd get it. Osolombia. Osolombia. Oh, you better come up here. Oh, excuse me. Come, let us get up here. Don't worry, I'm your pal. I just came here to tip you off, that's all. She's going to be there. Who? Oh. You know, what's her name? Oh, you know who I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. When? Where? Saturday night, you know, the Patterson party. She just got in town. Great, she's us ghost, and I'm the guest of honor. Sure, that's why I came chasing you here to tip you off. But I have been invited for weeks, I can't. Go ahead, then. Go ahead, then. i got to get back to business. Oh, so on the air. Oh, why did that woman worry? Don't worry, don't worry. I'll go to the party and cover you, if you want me to. But you haven't been invited. Are you joking? It's a mass meeting. I'll just get there at the last minute and tell them you were in a bicycle accident and called out of town. I suppose that'll be the best. 
Will you really do it? For an old pal? <laughs> There's a spike you're talking to. If you see her, if she talks to you. I don't know nothing good. Well, I gotta get going. I was never in Naples. Never, never in your life. You knew me in Paris. Yeah, Paris. Never even heard of Naples. Good, good. Paris in, Naples out. I don't know nothing. Oh, Abigail, have you no shame? Oh, she isn't coming to the party. Spike fixed it. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, Spike, I love you truly. Oh. Did he put up any arguments? Well, pals, he's sending me to the party as his personal representative. You'd rather die with booze and live without it. Why don't you think of your friends, if you got any? Why don't you think of your wife? Why don't you I think... I beg your pardon, sir. Have I a wife? Have you got a wife? Brother, what that booze is doing to your brain. You've got a wife and eight kids. Eight children? I don't recall. Goodness. Well, there's still time for you to be a man. If you get going fast... Eight children? Get going. Get going. Goodness. Get going. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. Where's my wife, Lip? <laughs>